MISD transportation administrators say that they're in need of about 50 to 55 bus drivers. And because of that, quality has gone down and certain areas of the district might suffer. I think that would be catastrophic. That's if transportation weren't an option for MISD Head Start next year. Parents today are uh, both working and uh, puts a lot of stress on providing their own transportation. I haven't been able to transport students where they need to be at the prescribed time that they are scheduled to be. So sure can affect that area and every area of transportation. If we don't find more drivers, it's going to affect the operation. Willie Tarleton, director of transportation, says that they've already shuffled schedules and doubled up on routes. The problem isn't only finding drivers, it's the type of drivers. A school bus or uh, driver have higher standards. We had the most precious cargo in the world. If people don't apply for those positions, students and parents could suffer. And the MRT reports the shortage could stop transportation for Head Start. I'm a, a former teacher. I really am a huge proponent of public education. And I think Head Start is where it all begins. Administrators say that if you don't have your license, it's not a problem. You can still start out as a bus monitor and move your way up. To find out more about how you can apply, you can visit our website at cbs7.com. In Midland, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS 7 News.